What's up guys? So do you notice anything different about me? It's my hair, beard, no. My voice. So I've had laryngitis for the last four or five days and I am stuck with this Morgan Freeman, Sam Elliott type of voice. I wish I'd gotten Sam's cool mustache with it, but I did not. I just got stuck with the voice. So I cannot do the voiceover for the video that I actually had prepared for this week, but it actually gave me a little bit of time to reflect back on the video that we did last week on the cornhole boards. One of the biggest complaints that we had that they had to be plugged in. So you guys did awesome with doing exactly what we talked about. When you come across a problem or you come across something that you do not like, you troubleshoot until you find out how to fix it. In the comments, this is proof that I do read the comments, I just do not have time to reply to every single one because you guys are awesome about leaving comments and you leave a ton, which is awesome. Chatting amongst each other, you guys threw around some different ideas. I've tried a couple of those and one of them was actually asking about a battery powered rotisserie motor. Well never heard of them got on amazon found one it was only like 24 bucks bought it put it on my other board worked perfect claims that with 2d batteries that i could run for over 30 hours with 20 some pounds of meat on it well we're not rotisserizing anything so i wanted to see what it would do with actually cornhole boards and the weight facing down so hooked it all up put all the bags on let it run for four or five hours the other day and it did perfect so i'm going to show you how to install those this will not be a full build video we've already done that so if you haven't caught that go ahead and check out the other video when you get to the part that we're installing the motor just remember that we have this video as well on how to install the battery powered one. We will have to make some modifications to our motor support because the new motors are actually quite a bit larger. So I'll go over all of that in the video, but what I found is they are actually quite a bit more powerful than the old motors. So we're cutting the cord, making completely cordless cornhole boards. So now the concept that we started with is even sweeter. Great job guys. Let's get started. Okay so this is the original motor that we actually put on last week. This is the one with the cord. I've just taken out my screws here that mounted it all into place and then we're just going to lift it straight off. Now this is the new motor. This is the battery powered motor. As you can see there's quite a bit of difference in size. So we are going to have to actually make this mounting bracket a little bit bigger and we're going to mount this in a little different of a way. We're still going to use our four inch flat stock and we are actually going to up our brackets for the side to two inch. But I'll walk you through all that as we're installing this new one. Okay so the only things extra that we're going to need for this mount is going to be the new motor. As you can see it runs off of the D batteries, but if you'll notice the difference in the back of this, it does not have the spacers like our previous one did. Yeah, let me take those batteries out. You're going to need two of the two inch 90 degree brackets, whereas before we had the, the one inch. And this flat stock, you should have plenty of this left because most of the time it comes in a pack of four. And we're going to use two of those. And then in addition to our hardware, you're going to need a six inch by three inch by half inch thick piece of wood for this to actually sit on. And then you're going to need two pieces of one and a half inch by four to go onto the side. And that's to make up for the extra width of this unit. So first we're going to install our brackets onto our new one. So we're going to start by removing these two screws and then we'll put our 90 degree brackets on. I'm going to put it into the first hole of this 90 degree bracket. The reason I decided to go with a two inch is just for the length. Whenever we mount it to this board, you can actually utilize both of these mounts since this unit is quite a bit bigger. This is actually a really fast and easy fix. So once we have these two installed, now we're going to remove these two at the very bottom. And these screw into the battery compartment so they're going to be loose. And then what I'm going to do is actually install them to where they would lean in with the least amount of overhang. Okay so where I have actually taken the battery out it doesn't have any force holding this in so whenever I turn it over it wants to drop down. So if you just take your finger hold a little bit of pressure then you should be able to see where you can start your screws. 
and go ahead and get those started. And once you get the first one in, it'll hold it up. All right, this is the new layout. Yeah, looks a little odd, but it works. So, actually kind of looks like a chicken. Maybe I'm just hungry, I don't know. Okay, so now let's prep our motor support for this. Okay, so you see how this kind of sits loose. It's actually sitting on our key stock. We haven't had to adjust any of this, but because we do not have spacers under here, it is allowing for this play. We actually want this to be level. So this is where this three inch by six inch, because our board, if you'll remember, our motor support's three inches wide, and I want this six inches long that way it can slide underneath of here we'll square it up with our motor support but we only want it about three inches back and that will keep us from from raising up so with this in place we're not even going to attach this yet i'm going to just drop a couple of screws into that board these are just inch and a quarter Okay, so with our front brace board where we want it, let's go ahead and mark our two inch 90s here. And it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just where we know we want our extension boards to cover because we will have some screws that, that need to go through those. And that's where these come into play. And again, they're inch and a half by four inches. And this was our mark, and I'm just going to Cover that to where the screws aren't in my way. Okay. Yeah, this voice is something else. But I'm just glad that I can speak. Up until last night, I couldn't speak at all. So it is what it is. It is life. And just FYI, the key stock here, this key stock is 5 sixteenths, okay? So a quarter inch key stock will be too loose. Um, I'll try to throw a link into the description for this as well as this uh, and these brackets. But you can actually buy two of these key stock and a set of the forks for about the same price as you can buy the two kits of the other from our last build. So it's actually a pretty good deal. These things were like 24 bucks. I've only used them once. It was for about four hours, but they work perfectly, so. But you'll have like just a little bit of room left on the sides here, which is fine. Let's check our level here. Okay, let's go ahead and tie in our two front supports. There's my mic. Guess I got tired of listening to this voice. Perfect. That's what we want. We want this to be as square as possible. Now our sides. And what I'm gonna do on the sides is I'm not gonna cinch the screw down all the way just yet. We'll kind of work it in from both sides that way it, it kind of stays square. For sure. I'm gonna put a second one in each side. And that is it, guys. That's the new mount. So let's flip this baby over and See if everything's lined up right. No wires. Cut the cord. All right, let's see how she's gonna work. And we'll just flip the button. And there you have it. Like I said, I ran this yesterday for about four hours with all of the bags on it. I think that I'm gonna do a longer test today and just see how long it will actually run with all of the weight. I think it was a great idea. I don't think that I covered it in the last video, but there's a ton of attachments that will make these things a lot more marketable. Anything else that you can do to this item besides the already super cool rotating aspect of it. These handles are awesome. You can pick them up on Amazon for really cheap. This one may actually be a good one for a cornhole bag because the tops can, you know, they can lift out. So if you're carrying them around, you know, you always run the risk of that top falling out unless you've removed it prior. This is an example of what I mean by community. 
This idea wasn't mine. I mean, this came in from you guys talking back and forth on the video itself. There was actually two or three really good ideas. There were power inverters that would run off of a 20 volt drill battery, all kinds of cool stuff. But this was the easiest fixed. That was actually the cheapest fix. 24 bucks for this motor. Again, keep in mind, this is 5 16 key stock. Quarter inch key stock will not work. It'll end up just kind of stripping out your motor eventually, or at least the drive inside of the motor. There it is, 100% cordless, and it's all you guys. So thank you for that. Since I did try it out and it did work, I wanted to make sure to get this update out to you guys that are wanting to build these to sell because this now makes it a lot more marketable. Hey, thanks for watching this. Thanks for putting up with my voice here. Next week, I've got an awesome video for you guys. I wish that I had it out this week. So tune in next week for this super cool video. It's ready to rock for you all as soon as I can do a voiceover. So till next time, guys. See ya.